Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be doing an update on my arm and post surgery. I haven't done this in a couple months, so I'm just going to kind of give you guys how it's been um, going the last couple months since my last update. So I'm just going to kind of chit chat with you guys. It's not going to be formal or anything, you know, 100% real sometimes. I'm really formal in these videos. Um, I had my coffee here and just um, chill and chit chat with you about what's going on with my recovery. Um, can you believe it guys? It's September. Oh my gosh. And if you guys like are wondering why I kind of sound monotone, I am sick. I just kind of wanted to do a video that for you guys. And again, I'm going to kind of mess up on here know me um so yeah i wanted to do a video on on this subject because i've been getting a lot of questions about how's my arm how's my arm and i haven't really gone into detail on how my arm's been i just say like on facebook or instagram i'm fine thank you for asking but um, i just want to go into detail on how it's going so far if for for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. And if you guys didn't know, I broke my arm March 13th of this year. And it's very sad because it was the anniversary of my grandmother's death. And I had sort of a tragedy. Like, I broke my arm. It was really painful. And I was in the cast for two weeks. And the doctor decided to go ahead and do surgery because he was scared that I had my head nerve damage. So he wanted to go ahead and fix the bone and repair it and whatnot. And it was my left humerus. So this was this is the arm and it's the long bone that's on top of your arm. And mine kind of broke, clean cut. Um. So yeah, I had surgery. Uh, like late March um, to repair it and um, it's been like April, May, June, July, August. So it's been like five months since I had surgery. So it hasn't hit the six month mark yet, but I do have noticed a lot of difference in my arm from then to now. Um, so pretty much um as far as pain tolerance like it does get painful from time to time like i've been sick this week and the crazy weather change here in north carolina it's been really like cool and it's just unseasonably cool like it's still like you know last year was still in the upper 80s like um low 90s and it's like 68, 70, 75, 80 at the most, and I'm like, okay, and I just got sick, like, and my, do and my daughter Emma got sick, and now I think Jackson's sick, because he kind of was feeling it, was feeling bad last night, so yeah, <laughs> so it's been crazy, especially late August, so it's like crazy, right, so, um, I've been feeling a lot of, like, like pain throughout my elbow and you guys can see the scar and it's just right in here it hurts and it's still kind of swollen and puffy I've been doing the exercises that the um, physical therapist gave me now only went to one session they thought I just needed the one session to get the exercises which <clears throat> I thought I needed one session too, but in a way I kind of wish that, you know, I got like at least two or three more sessions just to kind of like, <clears throat> like, you know, help me move my arms a little bit better. Um, now, just to let you know, when I first broke my arm and had surgery, I couldn't lift this arm one bit, but now I can lift my arm and sorry excuse my flabbiness but I can lift my arm really high now um just not a long period of time like this arm I can lift my arm all the way up with this one and I can 
um, extend it and everything and this arm I can kind of sort of extend it but it's not as you know much as I could um, with this um, with my unhurt arm now um, as far as um, lifting the doctor told me I can lift like five pounds which I have my five pound weights here so I can there's certain exercises I've been doing with the five pound weights and it's definitely helped it's just when I do the back arm exercises and lifting it up um, it hurts like it's really stinging so I don't really mess with those exercises also um working when i um broke my arm you know i had to not i wasn't able to work at all and the doctor released me back in june to go back to normal activities um i do have quite a bit of stiffness um most days with my elbow and with my um forearm right here so typing um, for a long period of time is probably not going to work for me for a while so um, I actually had to give up a full time job but <clears throat> I can work part time like I could work part time so I am in the um, beginning stages of looking for part time work to help me um, I just can't lift so any job that requires me to lift anything I can't do anything over five pounds I mean I could start doing more than five pounds but the doctor said you know when it's comfortable for me and it's not comfortable for me right now and he said that this sensation this feeling can take well to a year even more to like completely subside so I still have a long way to go I'm not even six months out yet huh so you guys know anybody who's hiring in Charlotte area and surrounding areas, let me know for part time, you know, clerical, um, reception, anything that doesn't require heavy lifting because, again, I can't lift anything over five pounds um, right now. Um, so, yeah, let me know. Comment below. Um, let me know what's up. But, uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, so. I um been surely but slowly but surely recovering from the surgery. Um I um been actually it's been really helpful for me this summer to swim, like go to a pool or something like that. My um husband, the kids, my mom and dad went to the beach around fourth of July this year and I was swimming in their pool and the pools and it was really nice. I went to Carowinds this um, past weekend. Oh, okay, there's a funny story with that too. Um, we I went to the water park. I swam in the water um, a little bit. It really helped my arm. And I think like if I could get yeah, like a Y membership or something, that's another reason why I'm like trying to trying to think about doing a Y membership so I could take just go to um I guess free swim when they do free swim um instead of having a class do free like when they have the free swim whenever like you can just go to the pool whatever or just do like maybe a water aerobics class or something to help my arm I find the water is very helpful um like being in the water also, it's so funny, like, I have a metal plate and screws in my arm, so, um, I know the doctor said most likely I won't get, like, a ding through the metal detector, but the other day we went to Carowinds, and it's like a amusement park um, in North Carolina, and, um, I went through the metal detector, and I thought, you know, something in the Emma Stroller was setting it off, and I was like, I don't think it is, so he had me to roll her um, forward, and then he went, asked me to go back, and then he he um, made me go back into the metal detector, and it went off, and he was like, 
are you, do you have anything? I was like, no. I was like, oh yeah, like, I have a metal plate in my arm. He's like, he didn't believe me at first because I kind of like thinking, I had to think about it for a second because I knew the doctor told me that I was supposed to get like, you know, it was not supposed to go off, set it off. And I was like, oh yeah, I do have a metal, I was like, oh yeah, I do have a metal plate in my arm because my mom told me, my mom was right there. She's like, when you have that metal plate in you, I'm like, oh yeah, I do. And the guy was like, are you sure? I was like, uh, yeah, look at this arm, like, what? You know, he's like, oh, I believe you, I believe you. I was like, yeah, I, I didn't think it was supposed to set off. So, um, I found out like some, um, some metal detectors, it depends on where you go and what, I guess, brand metal detectors they have. And some set them off, some don't, so... I've been, that was my first encounter with a metal detector set off, so that was crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, again, I'm sick. It's just a sudden, sudden, sudden weather change. Got my coffee, and again, I mean, it's just, it's been a process, it's been a crazy recovery, um, but I'm handling it, and um, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, because I thought, you know, my life was over, I wasn't going to be able to do anything anymore, follow my kids, whatnot, and now, um, for Emma, like, I can hold her, but I hold her on my right arm, that's my dominant. So, um, but sometimes I do pick her up from my left, and that hurts. Like, I have to, there's a way that I have to, like, remember to pick her up, on, like, with my right arm. But sometimes when I pick her up with my left arm, it does hurt. Because, again, I'm not really supposed to lift that much weight on my, um, my arm. So, yeah. So that is pretty much it. I just kind of want to give you guys a recovery update. Um, again, um, it's going to take about up to a year. And again, I'm probably not going to do another update until maybe closer to a year. Um, or maybe a little after six months because, um, it's been already five months out. And I just, you know... If something, I mean, it's been the same, it's been really the same the last couple of months, so nothing really new except for the metal detector going off, but, uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. Um, now if you guys have any questions that you want me to answer about my recovery, please, um, list them down below, and if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more of my recovery process, um, updates, please like and subscribe, and, um, thank you so much, and happy September, y'all, um, can't believe it's the, uh, fur months already, I, I thought that I was the only one that said that, but if we're, uh, apparently I'm not, I can't talk today, guys, because again, I'm sick, but I do want to throw that video out for you guys, so you guys will know, and it hopefully answered all your questions that you had for me about my recovery. So, um, take care, and thank you for watching. Bye.